Okay, electrical energy and power. Okay, let's start with uh, electrical energy first. Huh? From the definitions of potential difference. Before this, uh, I want you to tell me uh, what's the formula for potential difference from the definitions of potential difference. Okay, V equal to IR is not from the definitions of potential difference. That is from Ohm's law. V equal to IR uh, is from Ohm's law. So there is another formula for potential difference which derived from the definitions of potential difference. From the definitions of potential difference. Work divided by charge, yes, that's correct, okay? So uh, V equal to W over Q. Eh? V equal to W over Q. Eh? Because uh, potential difference is defined as work done, work done per one unit of charge work done per one unit of charge between two points how much work is done to bring one columns of charge from one point to another point eh? so that's the definitions of potential difference and uh, from that definitions then we get this formula v equal to w over q so therefore uh, electrical work done w equals to qv right w equal to qv eh? okay so so w equal to qv uh, w is work, Q, uh, V is the potential difference, okay? V is the potential difference and Q is the charge, okay? Q is the charge, right? Uh, this is electrical work done, yeah? Electrical work done. And in Form 4, we have learned that the amount of work done is equal to the amount of energy used to do the work, okay? Because we need, to, we need energy to do work. We need energy to do work and how much work done is equal to how much energy used to do work. So therefore, uh, we can write our this uh, formula. Just now it's W equals to QV, yeah? okay? Then we can also write E equal to QV because the amount of work done and the amount of energy used is the same. So E equal to QV. So work done must be equal to the energy to do the work. Eh? So then the formula becomes E equal to QV. And uh, this is the formula. Okay, this is the formula that we are going to use to find electrical energy. Yeah? Electrical energy. Sometimes the questions eh, they don't they, they won't give you Q, the charge. Okay, because it's very hard for us to measure charge. Eh? So we can use a wood meter to measure uh, voltage and we can use M meter to measure current. Eh? Okay, but it's very hard for you for us to measure charge. Uh, then therefore we can uh, do some modifications to this formula. So we have learned that uh, charge Q equal to IT. This is from the definitions of current. Current is the rate of charge flow. I equals to Q over T. Therefore Q equal to IT. So if Q equal to IT, then this formula will become ITV or VIT. VIT. So you need to remember. Uh, electrical energy yeah, is equal to QV or VIT. IT is actually is, uh, is equal to Q uh, huh? because Q equal to IT. Yeah? So these two formulas, uh, actually it's the same formula, okay? Yeah, just do some modifications. Huh? So then we are going to use this to solve the calculations questions. Example one, do the calculations. Uh, so the answer is 1,800 Joule, right? That's how easy it is, okay? It's, if you remember, if you can remember the formula, there should be no problem for you, right? Eh? Okay, next, electrical power. Yeah, electrical power. Uh, in Form 4, we have learned power. In Form 4, eh, you have learned power under force and motions. Eh? Power is defined as uh, rates, rates of work done or rates of energy supply rates of work done or rates of energy supply and the unit is what so from the definitions uh, from the definitions uh, power is given by the formula p equal to w over t right rates of energy supply 
uh, P equals to now energy then should be E la, huh? okay E over T yeah? okay if if it's a rate of work done then P equals to W over T yeah and the unit is watt one watt means uh work done in one second by one watt of potential difference to move the uh, one columns of charge so that is uh one watt huh? this that is electrical power electrical power one watt means work done in one seconds by one watt of potential difference to move one columns of charge so the equations huh? uh, from the definitions of power p equal to w over t right p equal to w over t yeah or p equal to e over t p equal to w over t or uh, p equal to e over e over t yeah just now we have learned that uh e equal to qv right electrical energy yeah e equals to qv so from e equal to qv yeah then uh, p equals to uh qv qv over t just now we also learned that the current i equal to q over t right because current is the rate of charge flow uh, how fast the charge flow i equal to q over t yeah? so this q over t is equal to current uh, so then the equation become i v should be q v yeah? uh, sorry should be should be e over t yeah? but uh, e equal to q v and q over t is equal to current uh, so uh, the power okay the power uh, can be calculated by using this formula p equal to iv now this is uh, the general formula this is the general formula general formula for power you can use this to do all the calculations uh, related to power this one is only for electrical power this is only for electrical power so p equals iv yeah? from ohm's law we also learned that v equals ir right v equals ir eh? uh, so this p equals to i this v equals to ir so therefore is equals to i square r so we have p equals to iv and p equals to i square r okay so it depends on the questions eh? whether the que to see whether the question give you current voltage or a uh, current resistance okay now from this v equals to ir we also learned that uh, we can rewrite this uh, then it become i equals to we move r to another side uh, so it become v over r so i equals to v over r now let's substitute this i equals to v over r into this equations uh, so then a p equals to the i become v over r and then times v uh, times this v uh, uh, then it become v square over r uh, this is the third equation for power so we have uh, three formula for electrical power p equals iv p equals i square r and uh, p equals to v square over r these three are electrical power this is a general formula for power but if you don't know how to get this how to derive this uh, it's okay how to derive this uh, how to get this formula is not important uh. what's important is that uh, you must remember or memorize this formula so let's erase this so we have p equals i v p equals i square r and p equals to v square over r so in this formula p is power w is work done t is time i is current v is voltage and r is the resistance so make sure that you remember or memorize all of this okay all of this formula so these are the uh, formula or equations uh, that we have learned so far in this chapter okay example two uh, a current of uh, 0 0.5 ampere flows through a 100 ohm resistor what is the power loss in the resistor okay so this answer okay so so the current 0 0.5 ampere resistance 100 ohm so uh, so since we have uh, i and r uh, so then we use this formula p equals to i square r so substitute these two number into the formula then you get uh, p equal to 25 watt okay example three uh, calculate the heat energy produced in two minutes
So the answer is uh, 96,000. 96,000 Joe, okay. So you see, uh, uh, at the very beginnings, I list down all the information that I have. Uh, uh, R equals to 50 ohm, and then I equals to uh, 4 ampere, okay, 4 ampere, and uh, uh, T is uh, T equal to 2 minutes. T equal to 2 minutes. Uh, I can use this P equals to I square R to find my power, okay, which is equal to uh, 800 watt. 800 watt and then so to find the heat energy to find the heat energy i can use the formulas of power p equal to w over t or p equal to e over t yeah? and e is the energy yeah? e is energy so p equal to e over t uh, therefore e equal to pt okay pt and here i have my power 800 watt so i substitute this into uh, p here okay and the time taken is 120 seconds. Now you must use seconds. Eh? You must use seconds. If you want to use watt, then this must be in seconds. Eh? So change the minutes to seconds. Yeah. Plug in here and then uh, this answer. 96,000 Joe.